This is Gardener Israel, the old fisherman. I'm fixing to go on another fishing trip. And I'm going to bait up my hook with a very special bait. So if any of you fish out there, when you come up close to this bait, circle around it, smell it. If you like it, take it into your mouth. If it's too much for you, just look at it, circle around it, get up close enough to smell it, and then you can go away and maybe later you might see another piece of bait that you'd like to take. The bait that I fish with is the Word. And the Word is Jesus Christ. The stories about Jesus as told in the Holy Bible and the actual words of Jesus. So I'm fixing to bait this thing up and throw it out. Here's the bait. This is John 7, 37. That means it's the Gospel of John in the New Testament. The seventh chapter and the 37th verse. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet, the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests, the Pharisees, who said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Are you led astray? You also? Have any of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd who do not know the law are accursed. Nicodemus who had gone to him before, and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. Now friends, I just baited my hook with this little piece of scripture and threw it out. There's a lot of things in this scripture that need further explaining. I'm not going to do it. Not right now. I'm just going to throw this bait out just like it is. If anything in there sounded like you might like to listen to more or take this bait and eat it, then do so. If you want to know more about it, if this interests you, 
And you need to pick up your Holy Bible and go to the New Testament portion of the Bible and read. Read what it says there. The whole story is there. The whole thing. Now, if you're one of those fishes that belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ, this stuff will interest you. I can't say that it'll interest you right now, depending on what state of life you're in. Whether you're in trouble or not in trouble. A lot of times, people don't turn to Jesus and start trying to figure Him out until they're in great need. Well, this is the way it should be. This is the way it works. So if you have a desire, pick your Bible up and start poking through the New Testament. The New Testament first. These are the words of Jesus. This is the bait. This is Gardner Israel, the old fisherman, and I have been told by Jesus Christ to become a fisher of men. And I'm baiting my hook with the word. I'll be bringing you more bait and more stories in the future. And I'll be casting my line out. I fish with a cane pole and I have a small aluminum boat. Nothing fancy. It's pretty old really, like I am. So I hope you'll tune in again and go fishing with me. And I want to remind you fish that have already been caught. You are also told to become fishers of men. You might want to fish with a cane pole like I do. You might want to do something else. You might want to fish with a fancy bass boat. With an electric trolling motor. And two live wells to keep your bait. You might want to fish in an even bigger, fancier boat, deep sea fishing. Each man is to fish the way that he feels like fishing. Some of you may not feel like you can do any fishing, but you can help somebody else fish. There's a lot of preparation that goes into a fishing trip. Somebody has to get the boat ready. Somebody has to get the gasoline if you have a motor. Somebody has to get the ropes and the anchors ready. There's all kind of things that can go into helping somebody else fish. On the other hand, you may want to fish yourself. It's totally up to you. But you need to get busy and help go fishing. Jesus provided us with the bait and we are to take that bait, the word and the stories about Jesus and dangle that into the water and fish. So that's all until next time and I'll see you later.